Igbuntag mga iksod. Ang mga musunod kay ang mga safety health protocols na atong sundon o ipatuman na ini para makalikay kita sa COVID-19. Pagsulog sa face mask o face shield. Talihog sa luba kini o sakto. Paghugas sa kamot, pagtapak sa kutba, pagpakuha sa temperatura o pagsulat sa importanteng informasyon sa papil alang sa contact tracing. Talihog sundan kini sa dili pang sulod sa kutahan. Pag-obserba sa dili mubos na usa ka metro ng distansya sa matagusa. Palihog ba tayo na ito kini ng distansya at anunay? Paggamit o alcohol o sanitizer. Palihog ay yung kalipi sa paggamit ni Ani. Paglikay sa paghawit sa mata, ilong o baba. Kung sakto nga paglabay sa basura sa basuhan. Para sa ito mga kahiman mo, mga isuot, at huwag kayo sundo ng mga safety health protocols kiri sa sulod sa balay alakwan kay dili katungganan sa simbahan ang pagpatambal kung matandaan kita sa COVID-19. Musa, paglikay kita ni Ani na sakit pinaagi sa pagmatmon ang pagduman sa mga lagda para sa kaiyuan sa tanan. Tagang salamat. Kahun, Lukas chapter 2, verse 8, Anitas 8, Bitsu. Pambasahon, Lukas 2, 8. Niyadtong dapita, dihay mga tigbantay sa karnero na dito sa kapatagan. Nagpulaw sa pagbantay sa ilang mga hayop o mipakita kanila ang usaka anghel sa gino o ang himaya sa gino misilaw libot kanila o sila giabot o dagkong kahadlok o ang anghel mingon kanila ayaw kamu kahadlok kaya niya gitadaan ko kamu o maayong balita sa dakong kalipay na maabot sa tanang katawan kaya alam kaninyo na tao karong adlawa sa lungsod ni David ang manluluwas ng mao ang Kristo ka Ginoo ug kini mao ang ilhanan alang kaninyo inyong makit-an ang usa ka gagmayng bata nga nagputos sa mga bakbak ug naghigda sa pasungan ug sa kalit diha uban sa anghel ang usa ka dakong langit nung panon nga nagdayeg sa Dios ug nangingon himaya ngadto sa Dios sa kahitasan Pag sa yuta, panagdait sa mga tao na iyang gikaymutan. Sa pagbiya sa mga anghel, gikan kanila, paingon sa langit. Ang mga tigbantay sa kanero, nagingon sa usa o usa. Mga to kita sa Bethlehem, o tanaw na to kining naitabo, nga gipahibalo sa ginoo ka na to. Unya, may sila nga nagdali o ilang nakitaan sa Maria o si Jose o ang paggamayang bata nga nagigda sa pasungan. Sa pagkakita nila ni Ini, ilang gisugilon ang gisulti kanila may tungod ni Ining bataa. O ang tanang nadakadungog ni Ini na hibulong sa gisulti kanila 
sa mga tigbantay sa mga kanero apan ining tanan itipigan lamang ni Maria nga namalandong ni ini diha sa yang kasing-kasing ug ang mga tigbantay sa kanero na mauli nga naghimaya ug nagdayig sa Dios tungod sa tanan nga ilang nadungog ug nakita sumala sa gisipilon ka nila so kanila nga minsay kanila nga story sa pagkatao nga gipakita diha sa usa ka ang anghel nga niwali sa mga kanero we need to understand nga this year kadaghanan is pag ngon nga dinas lang mo celebrate sa pasko tungod sa pandemic tungod sa bagyo or sa ilang kalistanan but we need to understand ang minsahi sa pasko may maghatag na tugpaglaom nga mag celebrate lang yapon amen so morning nga ang ngon gyud ni nga ayaw ka mo kadlo kay ni agidad an ko kamo og maayong balita sa dakong kalipay. This is the greatest news nga kadaghanan nga news is disalikway ni. Pero mo ni ang pinakadako kang balita nga gihatag sa gino sa tipta kalibutan which is ang manluluwas na tao na. Amen? So mo ni nga we need to pray sa mga katawahan sa nga wala makaksinati ani nga mo ni ang pinakadako kayong nga balita nga angay untang ma-celebrate sa mga katawahan o sabi. O even kita isip magtutuok kung makita na ito atong kinabuhi is napuno sa problema, napuno sa kalisdanan karong tuiga. Tama sa gingon nila ng 2020 is the worst year. Actually, if kanilang makaselebrate na Christmas is makapainumdum na ito sa itong paglaong isip makasasala. So kanila nga, ato nang iampo diya sa gino, kung manindog ta, ato nang iampo usap ang mga katawahan na wala pa mak- na wala maka Dungog pa sa mayong balita o glabosanan, wala pa makabaton o kinabuhing dayon ikan sa pagtuon ni Kristo. Amo lang itong amahan. Diyos, ikaw gamhanan, buutan, labaw ka sa tanang hari. Ikaw ang Diyos nga nagbugna sa langit at sa yuta. O pinagi sa mong bugtong anak, imong ipadala nga mao si Kristo. Para ang, ka, para ang kalibutan nga napuno sa kangit-ngit mapkakita o kahayag, which is ang kaluwasan nga imong ipadala. Ngayon mo ang, ang ginoo nga nahimong tao. Subusa ginoo, amo'y pataas ka ni mo, Lord. Ang mga katawahan ka ron ginoo nga wala pa makaplagi ang kahayag o pagtuo diyan ni Yesu Cristo, Lord. Lord, we pray kung nagpadayon mi sa pag-ampo sa mga katawahan ka ron, especially this month, Lord, nga mag-celebrate o Christmas o kadaghanan, Lord, ang Pasko na pokus sa mga butang, na pokus sa mga regalo, ginoamahan, pero ang pinakadako kay nga regalo, which is yung bugtong anak, Lord nga dili kasaganan o Ginoo wala makasabutan ni kadaghanan isa likway ni nga gasa Ginoo subusa man amo ni pataas kanimo nga ikaw unta Lord Lord mag-uplease lang kasing-kasing unang huna nga imos lang dadoon sa saktong pagpanabot ug saksak-saktong mensahe may tungod sa Pasko Ginoo man we pray Father sa among family sa among silingan sa among office mate Ginoo man sa among mga relatives Ginoo sa among mga classmates Ginoo Lord tabangi sila Ginoo Lord nga kami mismo nga imo minggamiton nga mudala gayud sa pinakadako nga balita karong tuiga Lord which is ang Pasko Lord nga mismo siyang springboard sa mong pag-share sa gospel Gino Lord tabangi mi ibutang sa mong kasing-kasing Gino nga di mi magpakahilom di mi nga self centered Lord gimo intentional gayud ang pag 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 celebrate ani nga Pasko Lord i know God kadaghanan naguul kay na magtangan og mga Pamilya, Lord, tungod sa COVID, nawagtangan ang mga katigayunan, Gino, Lord, tungod na wagtangan trabaho, Gino, Aman. But we amp, amung yampulong nga kami, nga isik mo mong katawahan, nga kami usap, Lord, nga imong gamiton, nga kami may makapahatag, paglaong pinaagi sa minsahi sa Ibanghilyo, Gino. Pusa, Lord, na ngayo mi sa mong tabang, Lord. Ayaw to guti, Lord, yung kanunay mi magunhuna sa mong kagalingon. Kung di liwa mong unhuna na mong palibot, Gino, na di are going to destroy Lord, your life, Lord, in, sa imperno, Gino, kay wag is lamang kailan niya kami mismo, tagain mi, Lord, o kaisog, o kapultness, Lord. Even though, Lord, nga, kami, Lord, nga nakadbaton man, Gino, Lord, sa maayong balita, Gino, Lord, pinagis yung rasya, busa, Gino, ta among iampo ang mga katawahan, Lord. O tabangi mi, Lord, isip nga katawahan sa mga mo, Lord. Help us, Lord nga malampuon mi ug lord nga mutingog gyud mi moampo gyud mi ug mo-share gyud mi sa gospel ako yam amo sing ampo lord ang mga tawo nga nawagtangan og trabaho karon lord dadaas na sa mong tilan dadaa lord nga masinati nila nga ikaw ang dios ug mga mga nang nasakit karon ang mga nang gupa ang mga family gino lord maluoy ka maluoy ka lord lord isip imong mga simbahan gamita mi 
Lord, nga imo ang mga mag mag minsa hero, Lord. Ayo to guti, Lord, nga mahimo kami. Lord, um Lord, nga useless o oh God, but Lord, we are useful in your kingdom, you know. Help us, O oh God, Lord, that we need to constantly, Lord, to 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 pray and constantly to share the gospel, you know, man. Salamat, salamat, you know, dalaygon ka. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mayong buntag sa tanan. I praise God for the wonderful day ngayon na sanghihatag ka na to. Salamat ta sa gracia sa ginoo na kita nagtigong na usap karon. Pali ko greet sa inyong tapat. Huwag mayong buntag. Morning. Buntag. Daghan kay tao ang ipasalamat sa tuang ginoo. Amen? As we approach the end of the year, makaingon po na nakita gayod nato ang pagka maayo o pagka anindot sa tuwang gino. Yes, indeed, God is faithful sa iyang mga katawan, despite sa mga nahitabo karong tuiga. And I hope that each of us see and experience the goodness, the love of God, and the gratitude that God enabled us to receive and believe the gospel of God, which is Christ Jesus. Even in sufferings, makita gihapon nato ang pagka maayo, pagka mantinod anon sa tuwang gino. And we also show our gratitude, our love sa tuwang gino in our prayers, reading of His Word, in serving Him, worshiping Him. Even we show our gratitude by giving back to the Lord in our tithings. Amen. We give Him all the glory and praise. Allow me to share to you Colossians chapter 1 verses 11 to 14 as Paul gave thanks to God for the love and faith of the Colossian, Colossian, Colossian church towards Jesus our Lord and to the brothers as well Colossians, Colossians church really received well the gospel of Jesus so Paul did not cease to pray for them he encouraged them to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord Maglakaw nga makamahimuot sa ginoo. Bearing fruit in every good work. Huwag mas mulawom ang ilang pagkaila sa ginoo. And Paul continue in verse 11. Being strengthened with all power, according to His glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy, give thanks to, Father, to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. Yes, brothers and sisters, ang pinakadako na atong nadawat gikan sa gino is ang ato ang kapasailuan sa ato ang mga sala. Tungod sa gibuhat ni Jesus Christ, atong pinakadakong nadawat kay si Jesus Christ mismo. Out of the fullness of God, He gave, He gave Christ, and through the cross, He died. Aron na bayran ang ato ang mga sala o marik ng salta sa gino. Indeed, His mercy never ends towards His people. Daghan kaya ta og ang ipasalamat sa gino, Amen. So karong buntaga, ako ng encourage ang tanan to show our gratitude, gratitude to God. Let's praise Him. Huwag ato ang simbahon ng ato ang ginoong.
Maghalat sa itong kinabuhi diya kaniya. Once again, may ang buntag sa tanan. Huwag atong Morning. welcome ang matagusa. Praise the Lord. Um, Merry Christmas. Magkawit nilang kudaan ninyo. <laughs> Gawa naman ang Friday. So, tuli, uh, kapang Sunday, natay guest speaker. Hindi ka sa US, di ba ito? <laughs> Last week na ako sa, sa main ni siya sa church. Uh, for she pastor ni siya. Yan na yung wife ni si Lorraine. Si, oh, Lorraine. Si Lorraine, sister. <laughs> Actually, mong nagkuhan ko. Kaya yesterday, I supposed to go sa kuhan. isla sa Santa Rosa kaya na ko yung kaunsilan tulog ka kopol kaya na may sinam tayo outreach tayo Bible study sa Pasil kaya dugay na sigis lang yun ako nga kuha niya kaslon sila ceremonially sa next sa January po sabi niya pag human mga ni kuhan ko niya guess kaya basig hold him ako dito basig di ko kabalik baron or kaya kaya na nga pag sa third day niya um motong ako siyang gikuan gihangyo nga siya mo wali so as of now ah uh, manang uh, nahitabo niya wa man madayon kay bagyo manang nanhiga pong ko wa na pasalamatan sa nako sino kay ikuanan mi nga nay bagyo nga wa mi ka byahi kay gusto bi pwede gyud mi mo byahi pero di mi kabalik mo sinay kuyo kay gi-cancel manang mga kanang mga pambot nga gagmay but dili ko magdugay ako palaila yung si pastor Joshua Raffles Kamu alikan. Ses, okay. Ang buntag sa tanan. Ang buntag. It's almost Christmas, and I know andam na tama nga onuk mayo, de ba? Praise the Lord. So, hindi sa tama magdugay, magampo sa ta. or anything else. Langit na mga mahan, nagpasalamat mi karon kapuntagon na kapaminaw mi sa imong pulong. Nag-ampo mi Lord, na iandam ni mo ang kasin-kasin. Dili lang sa 
atong among pagpaminaw di di lang kutob sa pagpaminaw pero Lord na ang pulong nimo mag-usab sa among kasing-kasing ug mag-usab sa among kinabuhi Karon Lord kapunan kapun tagon is I pray Lord that this would be a reminder to us this this word that you have prepared for your people would be a reminder of who you are and that we would once again be in awe of you give you praise and thanks in Jesus name Amen. Amen. So, dali sa akin yung timer, di ba? Sige malapas ko. Karong kabuntagon, ang atong pagtoon na asa Salmo Kapitulo 8. It would be the whole chapter. So, before tamo diritso din ha, um, na ko story sa isuriya sa inyo ha. Ang una na ko ikuha ninyo, na iduha ka tao, nagbarog sa Grand Canyon. Kitsa ikaw kaila o Grand Canyon sa US. Okay, so wala ta kaila. Sige, lahiyo na lang nato. Kinsay nakaadto sa Busay? I think kita ta na nakaadto mo tag Busay or nakaadto tag Bukid. Now, na iduha ka tao nagbarog dito sa Bukid. Unya ang usa ni ana siya. Ang ah, kalindot sa gibuhat sa Ginoo, grabe kayo. Nagdaig siya og nagsimba dito. Nasay usa dito nagtan-aw ra siya. Wow, color green. Nice kayo ang trees. Wala niya na-appreciate ang intero creation na gikon sa ginoo. Diba? Usually, we're always in awe. There's always that something in us that is always in awe when we see something very beautiful. There's always that something in us na murag ma-amaze ta kung makakita ta o dagat na grabe kay kabas or bukid na grabe kay ka-green, or even pag ad, kung kinsay nakad ito mag chocolate hills, mamis mo nga nung mura siya chocolate hills. Di ba? And na, <clears throat> mauna siya, in green na siya sa tua, it is a very nature in us, and it brings us to the realization that man has the capability to be in awe. And for us Christian, mga Kristuhan nun, It leaves us a different effect. Because once we are in awe of, of something, especially when creation, it leaves us in awe of the Creator. But the reality is, ang katino, ang, the reality of everything else, panagsama kalimutaan ni, and we take things for granted. Kagets ba mo mga kiksunan? Sometimes we tend to forget who our God is. And we tend to forget and lose that awe sa ginoo. Or at times, ang problema sa nato, pareho sa ikaduhan na tao, we are in awe of the wrong things in life. <clears throat> so in this time and age, Christians become very familiar with God. Mga Kristuhan nun, usually, ma familiar na ta sa ginoo. Mararanag ka ng simple na kayo atong pagduol sa ginoo. Okay, panagsak, ibalo na ta, magunahon na ta, ibalo naman ta sa pulong sa ginoo. We know the word of the Lord from head to toe, from cover to cover, ibalo na ta. And sometimes there's that lack of, marag ma, ma-amaze ka ba sa imong gibasa sa bubahin sa ginoo. And sometimes, ang mahitabo, puro na lang intellect, puro na lang hunahuna, pagdili na sa tuwang pag-experience sa ginoo. Ang uban sa nakristuhan nun, or uban mga tao, are slowly walking away from God because they question whether God is real or not. And they start to find joy. Ngita na sa naglaing kalipayon, diri sa kalibutan. So, para sa ito ang mga kahigsunan mo, dapat ni siya mo kung ano pa question sa ito ah. Kamusta man ta? Kamusta man ta sa itong kasing-kasin kung magbasa ta sa Biblia? Kamusta man ta if makatubang ta sa, gino, sa Biblia? Makakita pa ba ta sa ginoo? Are we still in awe of God? Or is it just something so simple for us? Or murag wala na ta? It leaves us apathetic or kung kuwan pa, kiber. Wala tay feelings para sa ginoo. Wala tay. It doesn't bring us in awe of God. 
Masin mao ni inyo hangkuan status karon. Wala ko kay balo sa inyong mga status sa inyong kasing-kasin. But I want to lead you guys in reading Psalms 8 where we see David beginning to talk about God, who God is, and how he is in awe of God. And let us once again also be refreshed in through the psalm. So, allow me to read Psalms chapter 8. If nanin yung mga Biblia, aliwag abli sa Salmo Kapitulo 8. Huwag sa karoon na itong basahon ng Intero Intero Salmo. Okay lang ba maging English ko? Or (laughs) pan? Sige. Salmo Kapitulo 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Who have displayed your splendor above the heavens from the mouth of infants and nursing babes, you have established strength. Because of your adversaries to make the enemy and the revengeful cease, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man? you are mindful of him. What is man that you take thought of him and the son of man that you care for him? Yet you have made him a little lower than God and you crown him with glory and majesty. You make him rule over the works of your hand. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beast of the field the birds of the heaven and the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So ato makita sa Salmo mga kaigusunan. It's a psalm written by David. It's a psalm that has a specific purpose. Mone siya ang gitawag na to na Salmo sa pagdaig or a psalm of exaltation. A psalm of praise. Makita man nato pag start pa lang dan, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic. But naasa a specific na reason na gisuwat sa niya magigisunan. This was a psalm that was meant to be sung. Pareho sa itong mga kanta na itong ipangkanta ka ron, mausan ni siya ang tuyo ani niya. And as we can read it, it also serves as a reminder to the people of Israelites. So, when we read the whole psalm, we will take note that this whole psalm, we can imagine a situation where si David, nagsuwat ani, possibly siguro na siya sa ilawom sa koan, nagunahuna siya sa ginoo. And let me lead you guys to two things about the psalm, where the psalm points out. From verses 1 to 2, we see na si David, he stood in awe of God's majesty which we can learn that we can stand in awe. He was standing in awe of God's majesty. Second thing is that we will also notice uh, verses 3 to 9, makita na to na nagstand sa si David in awe of who God, uh, in awe of God's grace. So two things we'll note is stand in awe of His majesty, God's majesty, and stand in awe of God's grace. Now, they, sa verses 1, makita na to, as a whole sa makita na to si David, nagpander siguro siya about sa majesty sa ginoo. And he points out how God's name dis, was displayed in all over the earth and on the heavens. Muna, if makita na to sa first part sa verse 1 of 9, both are the same. Diba, makabantay mo na, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And it ended in the same phrase sa ending. This is because mauni siya ang whole point sa psalm. The psalm was to lead people in awe of who God is once again. That God is majestic. God is wonderful. God is God. And it's even interesting 
na ang first thing yung gibuhat ni David was that he uses the Lord's name. Now, when we say Lord, our Lord, it's not really a simple word. But the first Lord is what we call Yahweh. Kaya ba manta si Yahweh, di ba? Dili Yahweh na susiha. It's YH, the original Hebrew of it is YHWH. Kani siya na mga pangan kay Iksunan, maudyo ni siya ang tinuray na pangan sa ginoon na iyang gihatag. Makita na to na siya sa Exodus. Di isa ni siya simple na mga pangalan mga Iksunan. Mo ni siya ang pangalan na kung magsuwat man gani ang mga skribo sa una, kailangan pa silang manghugas o kamot kada human nila o suwat. Di isa ni nila sa yun masulti na pangalan. It wasn't a simple name to be named, to be mentioned in the Bible. But this was a very personal name of God. And the second Lord describes is actually a title. Titulo ni siya sa pangalan sa ginoo. For example, Mr. and Mrs. Kabalumanta, Doctor, Doctora. Pero if Lord, it describes the authority of who God is. So that word is Adonai. So Yahweh Adonai. It describes the reverence that David had for who God is. So unsa may buto sabot ang mga kiksunan? It describes a personal relationship na naani David towards sa ginoo. Dili siya sa yun na butang na yung iharang ko ang ah, ginoo. This is the name of the Lord. Or for, for example, si Lorraine. Marag dili ra yung anak ka sa yun. Sa tiyon na yung pangan. Pero there was that reverence. Because David fully understood, naka, nakasabot si David kung kinsa ni siya ang ginoo na iyahang gidaig o gisimba. He was not an ordinary God for David. He was not an ordinary person for him. But he was God. And it's even interesting that he describes the name of the Lord, just the name, ang pangalan ng Diyod sa Gino, as majesty. Now, why do you think so? Nga no ka, mga kigsunan, no? Why does David, just even the description of the Lord's name, he calls it majestic. Ang example siguro ni mga kigsunan, um, kailan man tag-iPhone, di ba? Kailan taog Xiaomi, kailan taog Huawei. And usually, basta makakita ta sa cellphone, na dyan ay brand name na makita na to. Ang Apple, usually Apple dyan na siya nag But nga nun, wala lang kuhan. It's because it's a brand that they want to kuhan. It's a mark that this is theirs. For God, it's the same. Muna, ipasahon na to. David was very clear in Psalms chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. David was describing how God is seen in all the earth. And we see that in Genesis. We see that from verses 1 to 3. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and desolate and empty. And desolate emptiness and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the surface of the water. Then God said, let there be light. And we see again, then God said in verse 6, let there be the expanse. And each time na musulti ang ginoo makaigsuunan, it created. Even from the word of the mouth of God, it creates all things. All that we see outside is from God. That is why David was in awe. Because God's mark is in all creation. Kita mga ito na makakita, tana. Even if we don't see things, naka-imagine ba mo mga ito na inyong pag-inhawa palang daan? God created air for us to breathe. God created the ground so we can walk. Even our feet. Paslamat na sa ginoon natin mga tiil. Kaya kung wala, dilita ka lakaw. Magsigit tagkamang. And David was such in awe of these things that God has displayed to them. Na maka-imagine ko kay David, siguro ani na time, katapag suwat ni Ani, nag-tanaw siguro siya sa stars, sa heaven, murag nagmuni-muni, naghuna-huna. Na-amaze lang siya, nagrabiha, di Diyo ni Mulord, no? 
when he recalls creation in itself, mura siya naglakaw-lakaw sa museum, kunuhay sa iyang una-una, grabe ha, pag ni Lord, sa iyong trees, sa mountains, sa seas. And as David shows us who our God is, we see him having a right understanding of who God is as God. But this also leaves us the question, kita mga kikzonan? Are we still in awe of God as David was? Are we still in awe of what God has done and given for us? Are we, or are we just simply going by the day? Okay, Rako Lord, I don't, There's nothing special with this. There's nothing special with you. Are we still in awe of even reading God's word, mga kitsunan? Kaya nang pagbasa bito niyo sa Biblia sa Ginoo, you will see different miracles and wonders that God has made, has done for the Israelites. And sometimes we don't really appreciate that those simple things Eh, para na to, it doesn't really affect us in a sense. Diba? Most of the times, it doesn't affect us because we don't really see God. How majestic God was during those times. And even in our time today, the Lord has done miracles. Even sa time na to sa COVID. Una, ang Christmas ko nuhay, dili dyan ni siya malipayon na Christmas. But sa tinore mga kaigsonan, No! No. This Christmas is even a greater reason for us to re- celebrate Christ. Eh hantod karon mga kiksonan buhi pagyapunta. Grasya na sa Ginoo nagihatag sa ato ah. So this teaches us to once again be in awe of God. If you have lost that awe of God, Go back to Him once again. If you have lost that joy in God, even in reading God's Word, beg and pray once again to be in awe of Him. See God for who He is, like David did. Pariho sa gibuhat ni David. Be in awe of God by seeing Him for who He is and His in His majesty. Ang amazing pagjudan ng magkaiksunan was that David doesn't stop there. Wala rin siya nihunong sa pag-ino sa majesty sa ginoo. He went on by pointing out that even God's majesty is displayed in weak things. Now, kung basahan na to ang verse 2 magkaiksunan, Out from the mouth of infants and babes and nursing babes, you have established strength. Because of your enemies, to do away with your with the enemy and the revengeful. Now, can imagine ba mo mga eksonan, mga batang gagmay? Mga ikuntra, mga karate chop ka na, mga nana. Di ba, unsa mo yung natural response kung baby mo hilak, kaon, unsa pa na siya, dili mo dyan na siya, wa may martial artist na one year old, wala say martial artist na six months old. But here, ni exaggeration ra ni siya kang David, pero pwede gamiton sa ginoo even ang lit, mga batang gagmay. David uses the illustration as to place an emphasis on weakness. Gituyo ni siya ni David, kay ganahan niya ipakita sa mga tao na nung simba o mudaig, na ang ginoo, mugamit siya o mga tao na mga weak na mga tao. And at the same time, this would be a great insult sa mga kontra sa ginoo. Imagine nun ragunin mo na, uh, let's say, it's a MMA fighter or si, ano na lang, kung si Pacquiao na pildi o bata, <laughs> di ba, mauho mo na si Pacquiao, anak? It's a great shame to whoever is the enemy of God. 
And this was not just an exaggeration for David. Kang David magudanin mga kiksun, and it was a personal experience for him. Now, when we recall sa mga times ni David, makawan hinumdum manta. Ang first thing makainumdum nato, mahinumdum nato kay Sunan is the time when David fought with Goliath. Di ba? David was a weak person compared sa seven foot on pila to siya ka foot, six foot tall giant. And dili ra sa dira makay Sunan, David also fought against lions and bears as he was a shepherd. He was weak, he was small, he was young. But God delivered him in all those things. That is why David could praise the Lord. David wanted to see, to show, sa iya mga kaigsunan mga Israelite, na ang ani sa dang ginoo, that he was their strength even in Israel. They were such a weak pe- pe- group of people. They were a small nation. And they fought against countless larger nations. Egypt, in whatever countries, Philistine. But in so many times, the Lord had delivered them. And so is with us, mga kigsunan. I know this pandemic has been such a trial for us. Natay depression, natay magyagian, na dilita kasabot, panagsa manghilak na lang ta, panagsa ang uban na itong mga kigsunan, na wad anong trabaho. But have you ever considered the fact that even till now, God has been with you? God has provided for you. God has granted the strength and the wisdom for you. That even till now, you are still standing on where you are. Napagihapon mo diri, nagsimba. Napagihapon mo yung makaon, nabuhi pagihapon mo. Kay gusto ipakita sa ginoo sa ito ang kinabuhi na siya ang ginoo. Gusto ipakita si Ginoo sa ito ang kinabuhi na siya na asya kaguyog ka nato. The same as the, the God of who they, the God that who was with David is still the same God that is with us today. And he, David wanted them to remember, we can still praise the Lord. And so is with us, we can still praise the Lord regardless of our situation. We can stand in awe of Him even in our weak moments, because He is there. Amen ba, mga kikisunan? Find comfort in this, that in the very fact that our God is powerful enough to even use infant babes, mga bibing gagmay, magamit pa kayo na sa ginuunsa pagkahak kita, Nothing is impossible with God. And that's why David was... Si David, grabe kayang exaggeration. Ani. Para lang yun makita sa mga Israelites. O para sa kita mismo magkakita sa ta. Ang mauna, ang truths about sa ginoo na pagbasa, pagkuhan ni David, ani left David really in awe of who God is. But at the same time, it led him to be in awe of God's grace in his life. It led him to be in awe sa unsay grasya na gihatag sa ginoo sa yaha. Muna, kung atong basahon mga kisunan, ang sunod na, sunod na verses. Allow me to read. <clears throat> Especially sa verse 3. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. And in verse 4, what is man that you are mindful of him? What is man that you think of him? And the son of man that you care for him? So in verse 3, David ponders upon God being a creator, nakita nato to God created the heavens and the earth, and not even the earth, even the skies and the stars. Kita nato na siya, grabe yung kayo kakuan ng ginoo. Grabe ka powerful, grabe ka kakuan. To the point that when he made the stars, it was just with the words of his mouth. And David here places such an emphasis that with even with creation, God can create anything with just his finger. Diba, usually, kung kita maghimutag-butang, kailangan pa ta mag-chisel, kailangan pa ta mag-wonders. Always, 
There's always a complicated process, even sa tong cellphone. But God, even with just the word of His mouth, is being able to create things instantly. And it left David in wonder. In wonder. Murag na, na amazed uh, si David na kani siya na ginoo. Balaan o gamhanan naghuna-huna pa sa ako ah. Why would God be so concerned of me? Why would God take care of me? It was like David not really questioning God, but rather it was an amazement. Dili siya kanang nagpangutan na siya sa ginoo na or siya nag-question sa motive sa ginoo. You care about your gun, color? No, this was not the emphasis that David was trying to say. It was an amazement. Kanang mga amaze mo ba na, Lord, nga no, maguna-huna, magjug ka na ako, Lord. Nga no, ni care pa, magjug ka na ako. Kinsa man ko, this was the point of David. Why would you care about me? Nga no, maguna-huna, mag ka na ako, Lord. Kinsa man ko. Unsa man ko. Aw! Oh. But instead of responding in such ways, the very response David was, was in awe. And he shows us that man is truly nothing. When we see the previous verse, verses 1 and 2, and we see 3 and 4, there is a pattern, mga kiksuna, makita na to, that there is a pattern that we see. Great God, weak thing. And we see in 3 and 4, we see again, God as creator, man as weak. So is there anything in man that we can boast? No. David himself fully understood na wala siya'y angay, dili siya angayan. Nabisan magunahon na magayan ginuos para kaniya, dili siya angayan hunaw naon. He was such amazed with the grace that he had received from God. And this grace, mga ikso, nandili rin sa nikutob sa toa. Makita na to ng common grace sa tanan. Diba lumantag common grace? It is grace given to God by all, to all man. By the food that we drink, uh, that we eat, the water that we drink, and even mga ikso na na to ang mga ipangginhawa karun na hangin. Gika na sa ginoo. And we see how God is so concerned for man. He, he not only stood by the physical things na itong madawat, pero mga ikisunan, also such as spiritual. The very first thing that us Christians have to understand that the great grace that God has given us isn't by the things that we have received in this earth, but rather the, the very thing that God gave us through Christ Jesus which is our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. God sent His Son for us. If para ninyo, kay Sonan, wala rani para ninyo, then I have to raise the question, do you really believe God saved you? If you are not in awe of God's salvation, that He has given to you through Jesus Christ, then I have to ask you, do you really understand what you have received? We of all people, as Christians, should leave us in awe of such grace that like David, we could also say, why, O Lord, why, O God, are you so concerned for me? Why would you die for me? Why would you save me? Have you ever asked that question? Why would God save you? Why would God redeem you? Nga no, iluwas pa man mo sa ginoo. Angayan ba tayo, iluwas sa ginoo? Nabatay, nabay usa sa nato, sa atuan, angayan, iluwas sa ginoo? Kung atong unaw na on, magkaksunan, wala sa atuan ang angayan. And this truth should leave us amazed. It 
should leave us in awe. And I pray that this would also place in your hearts when you read God's word, when you meditate on His goodness, on the goodness that the Israelites had received. It's the same God who has given us good things in our lives where He saved us. He redeemed us. Such insignificant man such insignificant people was made significant by God. Not because we've done anything. And we see that in verses 5 to 8. Yet you have made him a little lower than God. And you crown him with glory and majesty. You make him rule over the works of your hand. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, whatever passes through the paths of the sea. We see God making man significant. And when, when David meant, when he said that yet you have made him a little lower than God, now, the word God here does, doesn't really mean God himself. There are two, two ways of using this word. One is pointing out that who God is, uh, gods or small gods. But another meaning for this is actually heavenly being. God has placed us under heavenly beings, but at the same time, he has placed all things under our control. Uh, correction. We have placed all things under our feet. That's why we, we can plant trees. We can do things. We can cultivate trees. We can um, cultivate livestock. But this is such grace that God has given to us. This is such grace that God, that David was trying to point out Weak man, insignificant man, nothing good. And here comes God. Wala ay, sa ito ang mga wala, wala rajudta, pero karun ni abot ang ginoo. And this is what the grace of God through Christ Jesus has done. We have sinned against God. We, Romans is very clear, for all have sinned and fallen short, short of the glory of God. Walay usa sa atua na wala nakasala. If di magay mo mo ang konden, makasasa na mo. And it's very clear. Because even even if we ponder in our lives, kay baluko nakapamakakta, napang, nakapangaway tagtao, nakasala juta, tanan. And money ang gracia sa ginoo na through Christ Jesus we are redeemed, we are saved, and we are made co-heirs with Christ. He has saved us through His Son, Jesus Christ. And that is something, mga kiksunan, na para nato makainota sa ginoo, makadaig tao, makasimba sa ginoo, kay tungod sa iyang gibuhat sa cross para ka nato. Amen ba? Amen. We can praise God because our God is great. And the grace we have received should leave us in awe of God. William McDowell Donald gives a mighty illustration of how great grace works. Now imagine yourself being invited to a banquet. I guess on mga banquet ka ng mga usually uh, better example ani ka ng naay mga kananan, mga dagko kay na kwan, social kay na gathering ba? Luxurious na gathering. O imagine na to na sa may sikat na pista. Ah sige sige, kwan na lang. Imagine na to na ang presidente sa US sa US invite ta didto mga to. I-invite ta, niyo siya, sige, lingkod lang, Dre, kaon lang, anana. 
Inya ang mga pagkaon, grabe jud kay ka lami. Ang mga 5 star hotel na pagkaon na imo makita or sobra pa sa 5 star kung night 10 star. Sige, ganan na jud ka grabe. Ug ati pagkahuman sa <clears throat> pagkahuman sa ilang pagkaon, mana inyo kaon, gawas na hinay na nakagawas niya. Ni do lang presidente nimo. Ha? Kumusta man kaon no? Kira na na na. na. Kita mga pobre, o mga tayo mga kwarta, tunol tao piso. Para sa imuha ni, amat kayo. Kung ikaw ang presidente niya, <coughs> ikaw pa'y nag-invite sa tao, ang sa'yo mo ma-feel, anak. Hindi mo ma-insulto. Na, i-offer, hindi na ako ni mong libre, hindi mo bayad pa mga kanakong piso. Hindi ba mo ma-insulto, anak, mga kisunan? And sometimes, mawasan na ang problema na ito magkaigsunan. God has given us such grace that at times we tend to work for it. God has given us such grace and mercy in our lives that when we recall the good things that God has done, sometimes it doesn't really affect us. It's because we want to do something in return, to earn it. Maubasad ka na para sa inyo ha, mga Could that be something that you are struggling with right now? Maybe you are just trying to repay God, God's grace. Maybe that's a struggle in your heart right now that dili mo main o sa ginoo kay gusto ninyo i-repay ang ginoo. Maybe sa siguro magkaigsona na you just don't see, like the man sa itong illustration, you just don't see the grace that God has given you. You don't appreciate the grace that God has given you. You don't appreciate the mercy that God has given to you. You have to understand that grace is what? Grace is unmerited favor. Grace is unmerited favor, meaning you don't earn it, you don't deserve it, but God gives it to you. God offers it to you. That should be something, mga Iksunan, that should leave us in awe. The God who created the heavens, the earth, Tanan atong makita dira sa gawas. Is so concerned for us. He would send His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sin. He would send His Son, si Ginoong Heso Cristo, as a sacrifice for our sin. Does that not leave you in awe? Does that not leave you teary-eyed in wonder as David was such in wonder of God? Lord, I am amazed. You would be mindful of me. That even when you look into the last part of the verse, that the response of David was, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. This was the point of David. Be in awe of God. Stand in awe of God. Simba taog mo daig sa atong ginoo kay siya ang gitinood na ginoo. Stand in awe, mga Iksunan, especially sa grace na itong nadawat. And even this coming Christmas, mga Iksunan, when we celebrate Christmas this coming week, it should even leave us, mga Kristohanon, in awe because it reminds us of Jesus Christ. It reminds us sa unsay gihatag sa ginoo sa to at kaluwasan pamagi ni Jesus Christ. Amen ba? Amen. 
So in so many ways, we see God in light of who He is. Not dili rasa sa pamagi sa Biblia, pero pamagi sa sa makita sa gawas. Huwag sa itong nadawat, pamagi ni Jesus Christo. And as David ponders and stood before God's majesty and grace, this should be the same for us. So as they hear these truths, mga egzonan, mga katuhan sa ang mga pulong sa ginoo, This should lead us once again to praise and worship our God. As we read God's word and as we see who God is for who He is, may it lead us in awe of God. But if we have forgotten, then I ask you like David, ponder upon these truths. Hunahuna ajud ang unsay mo makita sa Biblia. Kuno na akong kinsa si Kristo, kung kinsa sa dang Ginoo. And even as you look to the world, it will always declare who our God is. And may it lead you to be in awe of God. Ponder upon God as David did and see the glories and majesty of God. Amen. Amen. Let's just pray. Let's bow our head. Close our eyes. If you have lost that awe in God, ponder upon God even at this time. Ask for forgiveness if you have lost that joy in Him. If you have lost sight of who He is, Maybe your joy is found in other things. Maybe in this world, and it has led you astray. Basi na mga, basi na tong mga mata wala na sa ginoo, hindi na nadiri sa kalibutan. Kaya mas lingaw ang kalibutan. I pray, I ask and pray that you pray right now. You ask for forgiveness if your eyes have been led astray to this world. Then pray for forgiveness. Pray once again na main o ka sa gino, kung kinsa siya, o unsa siya, o unsa yang gibuhat para kanimo. Or on the other hand, kung kamong mga iksunan in o mo sa gino, continue to find that o in God. Meditate on His Word. As you pray right now, meditate on the goodness of God in your life. Stand in awe of Him. Ask and pray that may your all not na dili mawala sa imuha ang o sa ginoo. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for this day. Thank you, O Lord, na sa imong pulong na imong gihatag ka na mo. Kung nag-ampo mi karun, Lord, na If we have lost that awe and joy in you, nagampu mi Lord na i-revive ni mo among heart mga kasintasin. Na once again Lord, na pagbasa na mo sa Biblia, may experience mo na mo, may experience ka na mo. Dilira at pamaagi sa pag na ang pagbasa na mo dilira intellectual. Dilira something na kailangan na mo buhaton. Pero Lord, nag-ampo me. Help us have that experience with you, mga Lord. That you would revive our hearts. That you would refresh us. And remind us of the grace that we have received to you, through you. And may it leave us in awe, in praise, and worship. Na magasimba mi o magaday. Tumod sa among nadawat. Pamagi ni Jesus Christo. Kung nag-ampo mi, Lord, even for this coming Christmas, Lord, and even when we have lost, maybe some of us have lost so many things and we don't see the point of worshiping you. We don't see the point of, of praising you. Nag-ampo ko, Lord, na mahinumduman nila, na naapa sila'y mas dako na dawat. It is you, O Lord. So Lord, I ask and pray, Lord, that may you be with us even throughout the whole week. May your protection be upon us, O God. 
may you continually guide us throughout the whole week, whole days of our life. Give you praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.
and offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the tithes and offering that you give it to your people, Lord, especially for the message this morning, Lord. Help us to see the magnificent and uh, the awe of God, you know, Lord, and especially through the gospel, Lord, that we have the reason to celebrate this Christmas, O oh God. And as we give back to you, Lord, Lord, bless them mightily, Lord, and use this tithes and offering, Lord, for the expansion of your kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. It's Lord.